Lightstream Loans is 100% worth looking into if you're looking into getting a personal loan, in my opinion, and in today's video, I'll give you my full review of Lightstream Loans and why I think they're one of the best loans companies out there. And I'll also cover the cons as well, because in my opinion, I don't think that they outweigh the pros, but it is good to see what's going on with both sides now if you just stumbled upon this review. Personal, I'll start by disclosing that if you are interested in checking them out then, I've got an affiliate link in the description below which means that I may be compensated if you click through it but just keep in mind that I am never going to recommend something that I don't think gives you guys the most value and on top of that you don't have to click the link if you don't want to so just some background here but Lightstream Loans is actually a division of SunTrust Bank and they have done a lot of research with different personal loan companies and Lightstream actually earned my business simply because of the rate I got in the end and the fact that they don't charge any fees now, one of the best reasons to look into them is because they don't charge any stupid origination fees and they don't have any prepayment penalties, which a lot of the other lenders do, and that can cost you a lot of money so pay attention right here an origination fee is just a stupid fee that lenders charge you to set up the loan and a lot of personal loans have these so definitely watch out for them because the average origination fee is about 5% of the total of the loan's value and they're actually going to charge that to you at the very beginning. And it's just a complete waste of money. So if you've got a $40,000 loan with a 5% origination fee, then you'd instantly have to pay $2,000 off the loan and you'd only start with $38,000 because of the stupid fees. So just be aware that origination fees are real. But when it comes to a personal loan, I definitely don't want you guys one of these stupid fees. And then the other fee that you can run into is called a prepayment penalty. And what this just means is that if you pay off the loan early, you have to pay a fee. And that's super dirty because why should you be penalized for paying off your loan early? But like I said earlier, Lightstream does not charge any fees and they make sure that they advertise that all across their website to make that very clear the rates and terms are also some of the best in the industry but just remember that you've got to have good credit in order to qualify for a loan with them. They currently have rates as of June 2019 that start at 4.99% and then they go up to 16.99%, which is actually really good if you look at any of the different competitors out there for all the rates and the terms. But just keep in mind that naturally rates will go up or down just depending upon a whole bunch of different factors. So depending on when you watch this video rates, could be a little bit higher or a little bit lower. And then also keep in mind that rates fluctuate based on the type of personal loan that you've chosen. So for example, you can't just expect that medical bills are gonna have the same rate as a vacation would be because those are in different categories of personal loans. They'll be close, but certain categories are always gonna have better rates than others. And that's totally normal whether you're going with Lightstream or anybody else. And if I'm making sense here, can you please comment down below? and just say I get it that way, I know that I'm actually making sense about the stuff that I'm talking about thanks now. Another cool thing about Lightstream is that if you find a rate from a competitor that's actually for the same type of loan, then Lightstream will beat it by a tenth of a point just so that they can earn your business and that's pretty cool and that's obviously not a huge savings but the cool thing is is that you can confidently shop around with different companies and then eventually you can go back with Lightstream because you know that they can at least try to beat that rate by a tenth of a point now, as far as borrowing goes, Lightstream will let you borrow between $5,000 and $100,000, which is actually the most I've ever seen for a personal loan. The loans can be paid back between 24 months and 144 months, which is actually 12 years, but just keep in mind that that only qualifies in the home improvement category and everything else is going to max out at 84 months. And then just keep in mind that if you wanted to get a loan for 5,000 bucks and finance it over 12 years, that's also not going to qualify because it has to fit within their borrowing tiers, which I'm an X a little bit. So basically on Lightstream's mobile website and their desktop, they have a rate simulator that's actually a really good way to see what you can expect to pay with them without actually running your credit. It's never going to be as accurate as running your credit through a full application but just keep in mind that it is a really useful tool and I'm going to show you guys right here on my mobile phone so you can see how it works just start by selecting the loan's purpose so right here I'll just choose credit card or debt consolidation here at the bottom then just select the amount which I'll set at $18,000 
and then I'll set the loan's term to 36 months with auto pay selected because if you choose to pay with invoice, then you'll have to pay half a point more so just don't do that. Now we can easily see what we could expect to pay for that specific loan, which is super handy because you don't want to waste your time applying and have your credit checked only to find out that the loan's too expensive for the one that you selected now scroll down and you'll see these tiers that you can mess around with which are super helpful to just open up the different tiers and you can quickly see how much you'll have to pay for different amounts in terms for the specific debt consolidation category that you already selected. Obviously, everything will fluctuate based on what you want, but it's a great tool to use as a preview of what to expect. Trust me, it's 100% worth using the simulator if you're looking into different loan amounts and terms. Now with Lightstream, there are a couple cons, but in my opinion, I don't really think that they're that big of a deal. For instance, the minimum amount that you can borrow with them is $5,000. So if you wanted to get a loan for less than that, then you are gonna have to look for a different company because with Lightstream 5,000 is where they start at. And then the other con in my opinion is that if you already have a loan with Lightstream and you want to get another one, you can't actually pay off your old loan with the new Lightstream loan. So hopefully I made sense there because all I'm saying is that you can't rough finance a loan directly through Lightstream with another Lightstream loan. And in that case, if you wanted to refinance, you're gonna have to go with a competitor and then pay off your Lightstream loan because that's the only way you can do it. And oh well, I feel like the pros always outweigh the cons in my opinion. And so with Lightstream, it was never a hard decision for me to make just because of all the pros versus the cons because at the end of the day, they have very good rates and they have no fees and that's why they earn my business and so you should definitely check out Lightstream if have an interest in a personal loan. Now once again, we make a lot of videos on different topics that will give your life and your finances more value so definitely subscribe if you guys are into that type of content. But for now, if you want to watch another video on personal loans or debt consolidation, I'll just link those up right here so you can watch something else that's all for now.